is nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. For the next hour, we will control all that you see and hear. from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Please stand by. Now the reason I think I'm getting this stuff I mean, this is like right out the gate, I got this um, last night. And I actually, when I got this, I just worked on this. I stopped everything. I'm filtering something right now for 36 hours. And I'll tell you, it's the Vatican, and I mirrored it, and it began to show incredible signs in the sky when I mirrored it. So, I'm being patient. It's been like 36 hours, and it's a seven-hour seven hour sky. I recorded double speed. And then I brought it down to 20 minutes. So it's going to be pretty fascinating to watch what I got. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm playing around with these UFOs right here. They're pretty amazing. You could clearly see that saucer on the bottom, guys. I can. Keep watching. I'm going to tell you a little bit of what I'm doing here. Um, I put it in my filter, and as I filter it, it will let me backtrack. So what I do without the cam on, I filter, filter, filter it like 15, 20 times, and I try to draw out the best pictures on it. And then I backtrack it, and I begin to go forward and point out stuff. So you could clearly see that this ship is not just a little ship upright, kind of like vertical, but it's part of a bigger ship. You know, it's almost like it's like an aircraft carrier type warship and you'll see why I call it a warship because you'll see the guns but it goes from the left it looks like a building in front there and then as it goes up over that dark area and this is a little saucer down here I'm circling right now let's just go to that saucer because you can see in between layers of that saucer there's like a lighting system right there where I'm drawing and there's the top of it and it's a pretty big craft by itself but um, this right here I think is one of these things I've been seeing, they're almost like missiles, but they pour out smoke. You see the smoke behind it? The smoke is incredible, guys. Come on. I, I've seen it now in the last three videos. But this up here, um, it, this looks like part of the clouds when you're looking at the original, but I'm just kind of circling what I'm looking at. It's definitely a ship. And so I'm taking this through stages so your mind can adapt. Because I had a hard time wanting to even believe this. So I'm doing it from a distance so it doesn't freak you out. But as I get closer, don't bug out. Warning, 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 right? This is real. It's not CGI. So what's going on? Your guess is good as mine. So I'm giving you a warning right now. It's going to get more intense. So if this is like mind-boggling and scaring the crap out of you... Forgive the language, but uh, you might want to step out of the room, breathe, pray, and come back and look a little bit. Come back and look a little bit. It's pretty intense. Keep watching. Like my music? Thumbs up. So, if you're on a large screen TV, it's really good. Um, if you have earbuds or headphones, it's better for the music. 
and the music's to give you a sense of just awe um, as I do stuff on this. You'll see it. it looks just like lost in spacecraft right there. Okay, and I don't know, you know, if that's one of ours, if there's a multiple, um, if there's multiple types of aliens that are like different races, like they say, but I call them, you know, fallen angels, and there's good ones and really, really bad ones, and the good ones are still bad, even though they say they're good. <laughs> Anyways, um, i just point out some, some things that we're going to look at that I can see with my eye real close with the filter. Now, as you're looking at this thing, look from the left at the building-shaped white thing there. Don't just look at the craft on top because that's, that's just part of the bigger picture. So look from the left all the way to the right, okay, and get your eyes adjusted. You can see where the dark darkness of the ship, you know, it's like sticking out of the clouds there on top, right, right of the, the round thing. See, down here, you can see how dark it is. It's like the belly of the ship. Right in here, you can see there's actually windows and stuff in. And actually, um, you'll see them real close, but those are like cannons. Some of those are like cannon looking. Um, so I'm just pointing out little things. I'll zoom in on it and let you see a little bit more. I don't want to go too fast. Um, I want you guys, this is the topic. Is it real? What to do now, right? Why is God letting you see this? Ask that question. Why is the Lord directing me to see this early in the morning? And early in, late at night and just happened to run across this within two or three pictures I don't think so and and instantly knew I had a mothership right here instantly I just seen it all like my with the, the light clouds I could see right through it so there's a mothership so I didn't know about the saucer on the right that's pretty amazing and I didn't really see the things blowing out the smoke because that seems to travel I don't know if it's part of the bigger ship but it seems to travel with it you know, and some of these technologies, ancient technologies, probably a thousand years or more older, and they got it down, you know, where they can cloak. But see, sometimes they just stick their head out just so I can find them. <laughs> it's amazing. And uh, I never thought I would be finding something like this showing people my whole life ever. Didn't even believe in UFOs eight months ago, maybe nine months now. But see, the original picture just looks like something dark and it's obvious something's there. I think it's an amazing capture. Just keep watching. The forensics gonna be mind blowing. So you know how Planet X people, most of them just want to see a planet, you know, a circle or a moon and a planet, and, or the second sun. They're all obsessed with seeing that. But there's so much more stuff going on in the sky. It's like UFOs. Most people are happy seeing like 50 orbs crossing the sky. And you go to like you know third phase of the moon. I love those guys. Um, I also love Tyler from, uh, um, what's his, Secure Team 10. Uh, he probably wishes he had 10 people working with him. But, um, you know, they don't show stuff like this because, you know, you have to do the filtering, which some people call CGI, which CGI to me is when you add stuff and you overlay it. And that, none of mine's overlaid. Go ahead. I'll give you, I'll send you the original footage on this and you tell me if it's overlaid. You can see the original footage. When I show you the one picture, and there's the date, timestamp, everything. This is Alaska. This is what happens in Alaska. These guys, I've actually got pictures right now going back eight months where I didn't see this, but I got pictures of it. I knew something was wrong about it. But see, um, this is just as real or more, maybe more real than some of the stuff. You look at that little blue and red spot there. They're actually planets, guys, or something. And they're not orbs, I don't think. They're planets to the right right there on the edge of the page. But... Um, you know, secure team and those guys do what they do, but they're always looking for the small thing crossing the earth, crossing the moon, or a whole fleet of them, which is awesome. But I'm I'm more directed to go after this kind of stuff that I have to put the filter on and show you what's really in the clouds. And uh, so if people think of CGI, they're missing out on the, the amazingness of it, you know. It's amazing that they're actually showing themselves this clear. Or they've always been showing it, but... My eyes got opened, right? I don't know. You tell me. Comment. Chat. Hey, share this with a friend right now. Get him in the chat because the chat's long. Because I'm unbelievers in here and say, yeah, yeah. Let's see if you want to believe this. They'll call you crazy. But that's okay because you are crazy. Crazy for Jesus, I hope.
So kind of like as I take my time and show you the original here, this is the original. It kind of trains your eyes to see through all that smoke and mirrors. And so now what do you see? You know, you see the original. Take the smoke and mirrors off. Boom. A little dark, but you get to pull out all the UFOs. You see that one right there hanging on top of the cloud? I'll show it to you. <laughs> it's pretty trippy. And then you got the blue kachina right above that or something. The little blue orb. I don't know. This whole thing is mind-blowing. There's all kinds of stuff going up in those clouds. I bet you guys could tell me what they are. You possibly could have uh, the bureau coming down. Kind of looks around like that orb. This is incredible. <laughs> So now, what I want to say is, I believe this is a convoy, I believe this is a military um, ship, and you'll see why I say so when I go into the forensic, so at this point, just keep watching, taking it in, look at the huge bigger picture, um, I'm not going to zoom in on everything and try to explain it all, but you can see with your eyes, there's a whole lot more going on than... I'm even going to put words to, but when I start showing the forensic, I don't want you to lose it because I'm going to show you what looks like a set of like triple cannons in the front of this ship. And it looks like an Anunnaki, a man, a big man with a face sitting in like a gun chair. And in one hand, it looks like he's holding a gun, like a cannon, like a RPG, more like a cannon though, like a wide mouth cannon. And uh, so <laughs> just keep taking this in and all the UFOs around it. See what you could find. Comment if I didn't see something. I mean, timestamp it. If I didn't see something up there where I just pointed to, just timestamp it and say, I see this, Chris, or I see that on the left. Look at 1900. Look at 2600. You know, there's this. Those things in the front look like cannons. You know, tell me what you think they are on the comments. Because that's what makes this fun, actually. Um, as scary as it is, it's kind of amazing that guys are revealing this type of stuff to us. We know how to pray. We know these guys got technology or frequencies. They can make you go crazy. They can make you emotional. I mean, a lot of stuff. People are going through a lot of things, and they're feeling a lot of nausea. It could just be these weapons up here are doing stuff to us, sending out sonic you know, waves, low-frequency waves to make us feel depressed, you know, as all obsessed, oppressed. Maybe that's why many fall away in the last days because it's just overwhelming and they don't even know they fell away. They're just overwhelmed every day. They think it's their job, but it's not really their job, right? So anyways, just ranting, folks, because this is a mind Shut up and sit down. Sit down. Testing, testing. Hey, I just lost my narration for like a whole day. I've been waiting for that download. And I'm back. Okay, so what we're going on here, what we got going on here is the blue kachina to the left, a little spaceship underneath it. And uh, this whole thing, I've seen it. Like these are stacks of like some type of weapon, I think. Um, but as I go into the, into the filtering of the uh, forensic tool, it's amazing. So stick around, stay to the end.
Okay, if you're not familiar with my forensic tool, what it does, it magnifies, it puts an auto contrast or control contrast. Now watch this, see that face right there? And that elbow looking thing? It's not an elbow, those are guns. Those are guns, folks, look at them. I'm gonna show it to you over and over, but what this tool does is it brings an auto contrast or a normal contrast. Okay, I think I have it on auto contrast right now. You put it on normal contrast, you get less value. Um, but you can really see each thing where the arrow is pointing, where the yellow is on the arrow. That's what it's blowing up. Like right there, it looks like an end of a ship, a wall. That looks like metal right there. So this tool really brings it up. Now, remember on all my stuff I've been showing you, we went from 100 times to 700 times to 800 times and 1,000 times blown up without losing a lot of pixels. This one right here is about 800 blown up already. So we're getting even closer with the forensic tool. And you can see like the edge of the ship. Um, it's right up, right above the gun and what I'm gonna call the Anunnaki face. It looks like a man sitting there, but I'll, I'll show it to you really clear. But look at the edges on this, it's typically a cloud would be blurry. Um, when there's no blur and there's angles and it looks like metal, it is. It's what we're looking at, guys. It's something in the sky. I mean, right there, something in the sky. It's built by a creature, a man, an alien, a fallen angel, an Anunnaki, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's built by somebody. And this is not CGI, folks. Come on, get your mind out of that. So never believe the truth if you if you can't believe it here and it's broken down with a filter right in front of your face. When this thing cruises over your city, like the movies we watch, and it parks over your house. What was the movie we watched yesterday, Don? With the UFOs. It was so unreal looking. Remember they were chasing everybody down with those liquid plasma rays? Those green plasma rays? What was one called? Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn? Breaking Dawn? Or, yeah, it was something about uh, Waking Dawn, it was called. Waking Dawn. And it was just UFOs, and it was just these types of ships, folks. I mean, seriously. The elite is showing us stuff, but, you know, it's can you handle it? That's the question. Can you handle this? I keep watching. I'll show the anarchy. Now, I guarantee you people, <clears throat> if these aliens or fallen angels are working with our governments, this is in Alaska, right? One shot in Alaska here. If they're working with our governments, then you know they know I'm showing this. Why are they letting me show it? And because I put the music and the drama and I narrate without like scientific evidence, they think everybody thinks it's fake. But the reality is most of you guys know it's real. 
because you know me and you've watched my videos for two years where I never put a filter on anything and I still showed you stuff. But, you know, also the alien thing, you know, the guys that are showing moving crafts in real time, uh, and they have a hard time showing people to get them to believe. But when I show faces on a ship like this, the governments know they're real. Um, they know what I'm showing is real. The angles are real. The whole thing is real. They know I'm using this tool, but why do they let me show it? Because, you know, a thousand, two thousand, maybe three thousand people might see it. Half of them might say it's fake because of my music and all, but if I came serious, like Third Phase of the Moon or SEAL Team, not SEAL Team, but uh, whatever, Team Six with uh, Tyler, you know, Secure Team, not SEAL Team, Secure Team Six or Secure Team 10 or whatever it is, you know, they would probably shut me down showing this. Especially if I got it in real-time moving. Now, I do get clouds in real-time moving, and I know there's ships behind them, but they don't let the cloak, the cloak back like this. This one is parked, and it's just got the cloak pulled back. Um, they probably didn't know I was up that early this, that morning grabbing this picture. <laughs> anyway, share this with a friend, guys. I'm going to put part of this on Facebook, and I'm going to do a show on this whole thing as part of my uh, watch show. If you don't know, right now, we're doing watch... Yeah, we're doing watch shows on Facebook, and um, just sign up to my Facebook. You'll get a message. Message me, and I'll message you back, and then you're in the system. And then when I do a watch and pray party, or last day's TV, I call it, you're going to see all kinds of earth, space, clouds, floods, tornadoes, all the signs of the end times, okay, guys? And so uh, get on board on that. I do it every weekend, sometimes twice a weekend. It's fun. It lasts for hours, too. Well, thank you folks for coming by watching my strange UFO sighting. Uh, this is raw footage, real time, no Photoshop, and you see me filter it. This forensic tool just proves there's something real up there, it's dimensional, it's, it's real.